This is the ball game on NorthJerseySports.com. Brought to you by an all-purpose limousine. We'll take you for a ride without taking you for a ride. Back on the ball game, North Jersey Sports. Com's original multimedia series. I am Corey Doviak, wrapping up what was a crazy day at the Bergen County Boys Soccer Tournament quarterfinals. There was not a goal to be found anywhere in the first three games that took way too long to play. Ramapo uh, Ramsey went into a shootout after a scoreless 100 minutes. Uh, Bergenfield finally found the goal after 95 minutes in the second overtime against Bergen Catholic. Don Bosco Prep and Northern Highlands played a 0-0 draw for 100 minutes that went to PKs, won by Don Bosco, and then the nightcap happened. I left, but it was some fireworks going on, and we are joined by Cliffside Park head coach Jim Fusey to talk all about it. Jimmy, what's going on, pal? Hey, thanks for having us, man. Thanks. Uh, it, a crazy night. I mean, I, I have to, you know... Uh, I have to take the punishment here because I left early. I was soccered out, and I had to get started on getting the coverage going. But a 3-2 win over yeah. Tenafly yeah. for you guys, down 2 nothing in the first half. So, you yeah. know, I, I think, first of all, just the, what happened in that first half, down 2-0? We just, you know what, it took us a while to settle in. I think nerves, not, not so much nerves, but adrenaline. Um, you know, they were pressuring us in the first 20, 20. So they pressured us for a good 80 minutes of the match, to be honest with you. But we... It took us a while to settle in. And you know what? We weren't connecting. We weren't possessing. We weren't really doing much anything. Yep. Pull down one nothing. Pull down 2 nothing, And, you know, coach for a few years, kids don't need more pressure on them. They don't need a coach yapping at them. So we tried to keep it, you know, as positive as we could. There's still a lot of game to be played. You know, we decided as a coaching staff that we had to make some personnel changes on the pitch for us. And, and I think it worked in our, in our event. We weathered this storm and... and Second half, I, end of the first half, I thought you so, you can well, you are not there, so you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was getting texts from uh, my hitting the post co-host John Lombardo. Who Johnny, <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't seen Johnny that heated since 2010, the last time we coached together. Johnny, Johnny was into it, man. But um, no, you know we 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 scored in the middle left and half, and I and I thought that that gave us a little confidence, and I thought our second half was was a much better. Much better pace for us. I thought we possessed more. I thought we did a lot more what we could have done that we're used to doing in the second half. Um, well, let's call state of state. Or I mean, the guy, the guy, Coach Schiff doesn't. They haven't been in the county tournament for a while, and I tell you what, I think they're in a tremendous amount of respect on the pace that they play, tact- tactically how they play, and you know that's that's a good team over there, man. And yeah, they're young, and they're young. And I said to Dave at the end of the game, man, I said. A great game. I would expect nothing less from a cliffside kind of line. This is this is right. one of the most storied, you know, uh, rivalries in high school sports. Yep. You know, dating back, you know, 15 years, 20 years of just playing and just beating the heck out of each other every year. They're not in our league anymore, but that's how these games work. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I said to him, I wouldn't have expected anything less, and we got a hell of a future here with the team. So. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, well, it does make you pine for the uh, BCSL American days. But, you know, it, it, and you're one who preaches caution. I mean, when I talk to you during the course of the season, even when I talk to you tonight before the game, you know, you, you're never peeking ahead. You always say, we got to get this one first. And people see undefeated. They see Cliffside Park number one seed. But, you know, when you get to this level of play in the Bergen County tournament where it's condensed to the top eight teams in the county, I mean, did, did you guys feel like a favorite how did you feel going in here, you know, because uh, the talk was that Tenafly could give you a good game, and the truth is Tenafly can give anybody a good game. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I think they proved that, though. They play yep. with Bergenfield top, they're in the semis. They have the next, they play with Bergenfield. Yep. You know, they, they play around. I mean, look at the league they come out of. They're battle-tested. You know, they're, they're used to playing a high level every day. So to see a Cliffside Park team, it, it's nothing different for them. Right. It, 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 it might be a little more different from us because, you know, the pace that they play in and the competition they play in day in and day out, I mean, I think it was more of an adjustment for us than it was for them. But, yeah, they, we're always cautious. We always worry about the next half to hand, and that's tomorrow to get healthy, you know, yeah. and, and try to do nothing on a ball because we play a game on Tuesday against Riverdale. It's always crazy stuff. But, listen, it's, 
I was talking to Joe Sotero. I'm trying to give him a shout out, my buddy Joey. And we were talking to a uh, base, baseball guy, baseball guy, um, and, and he, he he started getting into coaching soccer now. He's coaching his little kid and stuff. And, and he's like, from what I see, you know, in, in football and baseball, you have you have an opportunity to change the outcome of the game. You can call pitches. You can see deficiencies. You can set up, you know, in football, you can, you know, you can you can change your game plan. You can run certain plays. In soccer, honestly, when you talk about the top four in the county, top eight in the county, as a coach, all you have to do is just line them up. You know, there's really not much more you can do. You can make a change here, you can make a change there, but you really, honestly, me personally, I don't think you really have that much of a difference game day. You know, everything comes preparation. So, you know, when you're playing top eight in the county, I mean, you got to line them up and play. You know, I don't think anybody has an advantage. Yeah. You, know, I think and- you just got to go and play and, and hopes that, you know, the 15, 16, 17, 18-year-old, sometimes 19-year-old kid that you're relying on is on that day. And one of the kids that was on for you is Orlando Nito. He got yeah. the goal at the end of the first half, yeah. then he got the goal to tie it midway through the second half, yeah. and then it's anybody's game at 2-2. And you got a kid now, Nick Roca. Last year I was at the Bernards game in the state sectional uh, playoffs, and you were screaming at him, Nick, take that first time, yeah. take that first time. The ball went out to his right. He hit it first time. He beat Bernards. And then tonight, late in the game, six minutes, seven minutes to go, whatever it is, Nick Roca, who hasn't scored a goal since that Bernards game, yeah. scores the game winner in the Bergen County quarterfinals to send you guys into the semifinals for the first time since 2010. So, you know, that's a kid who, who, who likes to get a sniff in a big game and score a big goal. Not only that, though, but this is huge for us because Nick, Nick has, in the last two weeks, Nick has kind of come into his own. And, you know, I, I think that goal, yeah, it's a huge goal, the only winner in the county quarters, you know, against a quality team like Tannafly. But I think what that goal has done for Nick in terms of confidence, and just being that more sure of himself that he is coming into his own is going to make our team a better team. He's going to be a different player from here on out. Uh, you saw he was a different kid. He walked around the hallways differently after scoring that game-winning goal. I mean, it's soccer. It's high school sports. It's confidence. Right. If, you have co- if you have confidence, you know, you can take down the biggest mountain in the world. So, I mean, that goal was, yeah, big for us because it was a game-winner. And fortunate for us, I mean, his last two goals were game-winners in the sectional final last year and now today's game. But, just as an individual, what that goal is going to do for him in terms of his play on the pitch is just, you know, it's just, I think it's going to hopefully propel our team. So. Yeah, and listen, you, it doesn't matter how you win. As long as you win, you keep going here. And, you know, next week, it's the matchups are great again. I mean, on the other side of the bracket, it's going to be round Poe, Don Bosco, Prep. Yeah. And on your side of the bracket, it's Cliffside Park, Bergenfield. Yeah. Bergenfield, you know, they, they sneak into the tournament. They had to win in double overtime against Ridgewood just to get in. They started the season 0-3. Yep. Uh, they had to play a play-in game on the road. They win that. They win last week. Yep. Then, you know, here they are against you, playing as well as anybody in the county. So, you know, forget handicapping high school soccer. We've seen it so many times where the team that plays better on a given day loses, mm-hmm. and, the te- you know, the team gets a bounce, this, that, and the other thing. So, you know, what do you – what do you work with your kids? Uh, how do you prepare for Bergenfield? What's the uh, what's the mindset here going forward? Well, first off, nobody wants to play Bergenfield. You know, they came right. hot, and, and the Greek over there, again, does a good job. He's crazy. And, yeah. his, and his kids are crazy. And, and I mean crazy in a good way. Absolutely. You know, they, don't, they don't fear anybody. I mean, the Greek over there, is, if I can say it on your show, he's got a set of balls. And, 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 <laughs> you and can say starting, it on your show anytime you want, pal. And he's starting a program. And I think that's what you need. Your kids – can't have fear when you start a program. And he's got his kids playing fearless. That yep. They can beat anybody because, you know, that's how the Greek is, man. <laughs> and, but, you know, I've always said, Corey, dude, we've got to worry about us. Again, you're dealing with high school kids. The more you change things, I think the more kids get confused, at least my kids. We have to just – we got two games this week, Riverdale and Ramsey. We can't train. You can't train tomorrow. You're not going to train Wednesday, really. I mean, you're going to get out there and – like to, you know, you can't really yep. do anything. Can't really do anything on Friday and Saturday is the day before county quarter. So we've got to just really watch film. We tape all of our games dating back the last three years. And so we'll pick out some games that we think will benefit, will, will benefit from and watching and getting back to what we do. We've got to worry about what Cliffside Park does. And if we, we've always said, if we feel that, that we can worry about ourselves, then we're going to be in good shape. We say to our kids all the time, there's only one thing you control, and that's, and that's your play. You can't control the ref, you can't control the weather or the field you play. And you know what? Honestly, can you control the other team? That's up to the big. You can totally control one thing, and that's your play. And that's always been our model at Cliffside, and that's something that we preach. Let's worry about what we do. 
We'll take Give a look me. at Bergen Field, and, and you know, we'll, we'll worry about us first. But then we'll try to see where their tendencies are and try to, you know, distract them from playing into their tendencies. So. Yeah, last question for me before I let you go here. And who, first of all, I guess I have two more questions. The first question is, if for some reason you were not the head coach at Cliffside Park uh, in, you know, the distant future, when, whenever that might be, wouldn't you miss this? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that was... This a cryptically we, stated, yes, yeah, absolutely. a cryptically stated question on purpose and a cryptically answer given. All right. And the other question I have, the last one I will ask you in this episode of the show is, uh, who's buying the next round? Um, Ozzy bought the first round. Rich Myers <laughs> buying the second round. Hopefully, the bartender buys us the third round, and uh, I'm going home. I'm going home as a cheapskate tonight. <laughs> Jimmy Fusey, the head coach of the Cliffside Park Boys Soccer Team. I understand that I missed the best game of the day, but uh, I'm glad you did well. I'm glad you came out on top. And, you know, you, your athletic director over there is the co-host of Hitting the Post here on NorthJerseySports.com. So I'm a little offended. I'm offended that Johnny's not on the show. I know, <laughs> I know, I know this is a personal phone call, but I, I, we go back to Bonnie Day's days, you know, playing soccer since we were like eight years old together. So maybe, maybe yeah. we'll catch up. I'll see him tomorrow. I talk to that guy every day. He's a boy. Are you going to give him some advice, make him a little more peppy on the hitting the post? Uh, no, <laughs> no. I just, I break his chops every day. Johnny, come on, man. Look up a little bit. But now, you, dude, you're not going to find a, a, a better person than John Lombardo. I love him. And uh, it's good It's good stuff. It's good when Cliffside Park is winning and doing well, and you're doing a great job over there. We hope you stay in that seat for uh, as long as you deem necessary. Thank you, brother. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Corey. All right, Jimmy, I'll talk to you during the week. If not, I'll see you next weekend. Follow the leader.